All right, they're there. All right, looks good. Let me know. Well, there's nobody there. I was gonna say let me know how the audio is, but we're just gonna wing it because uh, that's it. So welcome back, guys. My name is Eric. It's Metal Seven Gaming. We're on Twitch today. Uh, gonna do a live stream. I'm not exactly sure about schedule yet. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a little bit each day, starting probably around 12:30, uh, maybe two hours worth. Um, we'll just kind of play it by ear and see if people watch and um, if people watch what time they watch. So that's the plan for the moment. So, um, yeah, I have created this uh, this save game. We are going to be playing uh, Battletech Advanced 3062, which is a mod by... Um, I've just completely spaced his name. Anyway, you can get it on Nexus Games. Uh, it's a great mod. Um, and, man, where the heck is it? Hold on, let's... Let's get out of here. Let me find it. Uno momento. Vita, I guess. We'll we'll swip. Change languages here. Um, let's see. Games. No, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, NexusMods.com, which is where you can find this, and BattleTech. And Battletech 3062. Do I have a display capture over here? Let's see. Can we throw that up there? Do let me make it fit. A little bit more. Well, right in the middle, and then we'll just kind of go. Something like that. All right, so Battletech uh, Advanced Mod 3062 and about the author. That's about the mod. Oh, there we go. Uploaded by Arguscos. So thank you, Arguscos. I have played this a little bit already. I'm not a lot, um, but this is what we are going to be playing today. So let me uh, hide that again and get back into the game. Hide it on my screen as well. Um, and that's what we got going. So um, I played this a bit. There are a few bugs. I've had a couple of missions um, just not load. Uh, just hangs up and doesn't load. Uh, death from above doesn't work. Every time I death from above, it locks up. Well, the game can looks like it continues to work, but it never, it never completes the death from above animation. Um, it shows the hit. Uh, the last time I did it, I actually destroyed both legs of my mech, and it showed him go down and then just stayed zoomed in and you couldn't do anything and it became completely unresponsive. So animations continue to work. I mean, like, you know, the little stuff in the background all continues to work, but you just can't do anything. So there are bugs. So I am not playing this on um, Iron Man. Uh, let's see, settings. Can we look at difficulty here? I can show you what I've got set up. I'm not set up for difficulty at all. Um, we're, uh, if you leave this unchecked while you're using his mod, the mod will select your random mechs. So leave this unchecked if you're going to do it. Otherwise, it's going to give you random mechs from the base game, from the vanilla game, which is fine. Um, but this gives you a slightly wider variety of mechs. Um, I like to say I've got Iron Man off. I'm going to leave unequipped mechs off as well because it just speeds up the gameplay. It lets us see new stuff and play with new stuff a little faster. And, and same, I left it at three points, uh, three parts per mech. Uh, enemy force is normal. Salvage is normal. Um, I did leave mech destruction on. If we get, you know, center torso explodes, then center torso explodes. I'm just adding a little bit of difficulty. Um, mech Warriors, Advanced Mech Warriors. The odds of finding Mech Warriors with really good skills um, is going to be rare. Um, those characters are meant more for in-game when you lose pilots and you don't want to have to level somebody up from the very beginning. It gives you somebody with some ability already. But we'll make them harder to find. Contract Payments, normal. Mech Warrior Progression is normal. Uh, and I've got Rare Salvage turned on. Uh, lethality, I've turned off this time. There are actual um, components within the game, just the base game. Um, the deal with this, like if you're incapacitated or if you take a lethal hit, depending on how high up you have the Argos medical base done, that changes your chances whether they will die from incapacitated or whether you can actually save them from a lethal hit, you know, whether you can resuscitate them and bring them back. So I clicking that on kind of knocks out half the reason to upgrade your medical base. I mean, the only real reason to upgrade them that is just to get people back a little bit faster. So um, I'm going to leave it off. It doesn't only really give us a multiplier of 0.5, but that's doesn't bother me at all. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, let's take a look at our Mech Warriors first, I think. Um, our main character here is Karma. 
Um, career soldier, deep periphery, loner. Um, from the deep periphery, moves to, uh, what is it? The Oregon, wherever they move. The Oregon Reach. Um, ends up just walking away from the family, taking the mech with her. Uh, became a soldier for a little while in the coalition military and ultimately uh, uh, walked away from that to start her own mech uh, mercenary lance. So there we go. Uh, we're a career soldier, noble family, deep periphery loner. Now, within that, as far as our story goes, our characters made some connections both in the military but also in the underworld. I mean, remember, we just walked away and stole a battle mech with us. So, you know, we needed a few connections early on that we had to make, you know, to figure out how to how to stay one step ahead of the law and, and hang on to our mech and maybe change some identity paperwork, you know, to get into the military, that sort of good stuff. So um, we'll start with our early life and our military or our criminal connections. Uh, and one of those is Lasher here. Uh, Wilbert Yamamoto. And you see here he is also from the periphery. Um, he's dependable, he's a criminal, and uh, he's been living in Tortuga. So, you know, uh, what better place for a pirate to live? So, uh, petty criminal more than anything else. Uh, you know, but he helped us make those connections early on in life. So, Shivers. Shivers is a little bit more hardcore. Um, also from the deep periphery. Uh, has moved to the Torian um, Concordat. Um and she was a gang enforcer, so murder for hire. So she doesn't really have very good morals. She makes a perfect mercenary and, dare I say it, pirate. So we will see how that goes. Now, once we've got out and we're in the military, we made a couple connections there as well. We've got Deadlock here. And Deadlock, also from the deep periphery, uh, a Regan Reach, military spacer. Naive, life has gone a little bit easier for him. He was a commoner, but hey, you know what? For some people, things just happen right. And uh, Deadlock is one of those. So he's never really had to experience kind of the harsh realities of the world. He's he's kind of done okay for himself. Um, and that's, that's perfect. So mercenary recruit, obviously we picked him up when we went off. He was somebody that wanted to go with us. So so we have brought him along. And finally, we've got Ransour here, our, our best pilot. Um, Similar to us anyway for total numbers, but she starts with Gunnery 6, which is amazing because Gunnery is the hardest thing when you start these games. It is darn near impossible to hit anything. So starting with somebody with a 6 is awesome. Um, and you can see from the deep periphery, uh, move to um, Canopian, whatever the heck it is. Um, command experience, military officer, nobility, also naive. You know, makes more sense, you know, military officer um, coming from the nobility. Life has probably been reasonably okay for Ransour. Uh, and she's done well for herself. She did have to go infantry lieutenant before getting into mechs, um, but that just means she respects the mechs a little bit more than maybe some of these other people do. So we've got a couple military contacts. We've got a couple pirate contacts or, or criminal contacts. Uh, everybody's from the periphery. Um, in my head, Deadlock, Ransor, and Shivers, and obviously Karma all brought mechs with them. Lasher is kind of the petty criminal we brought along just to fill out the ranks for the moment. He didn't have his own mech. And let's take a look at those mechs as they are. Um, this is obviously the inheritance mechs right here. It tells you in the story. Um, and we actually got lucky and rolled it. So we have a blackjack in here, so it fits the story pretty well. Um, and we are going to go ahead and change the name of this one to Inheritance. Confirm and roll that way. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, we've got the trench bucket here. We'll go ahead and rename that. We're going to name it Bucket List, I think, um, because it's a trench bucket, right? Uh, and this is the fire support one, so LRMs and medium lasers. Um, there's an SRM version as well, um, which can be pretty badass, and maybe that's what we'll do with this. And in my head, because this is kind of the biggest mech we have at the moment, uh, and it should probably be a little bit more front line, I'm kind of thinking maybe we can put some streaks on it so we can kind of run in with whoever, um, and gunnery skill is not quite as important, uh, and we can see about tearing up some light mechs. Uh, we've got a fire starter here. We've actually got two of them. Uh, this is the flamer. This one's the large laser with just a couple flamers on it. Um, I think we're going to name this one flint and steel, right? Because that's how you... Uh, that's how you start fires, right? Um... And originally, I was thinking um, on this one, uh, I think I want a different paint scheme. Like that. That one's bright. That one's a little too... Let's do this. I don't know that that's much brighter, but um, 
we're gonna go Prodigy on this one, right? For obvious reasons. But originally I was thinking it was Prodigy. Um, Prodigy. There we go, Prodigy. Um, originally I was thinking it was gonna be Firebow. Uh, you know, that's the, you know, the curved stick with the string that wraps around the stick. You go like this and you start fire with with sticks. Um, but you know, maybe if we get another one, we'll go with that. Um, I think that's it. We've got a locust. Um, locusts are awesome. I love locusts, but they are um, just about worthless in this game. We're actually going to call him um, um, Speed Kills because he's fast, and if you're in it, you're probably going to die. So there we go. Those are our five mechs. Everything's named. Everything's good. We've got our pilots. Uh, Captain and quarters here. Take a look at how I set, up, set us up. Uh, we've got this... Um, red uh, orange dragon motif which you should see well you can't see it because it's it's right there um sitting behind me um we're gonna call ourselves karma's balance which means we uh we take money from rich people and we keep it <laughs> rebalancing uh so that's our kind of our deal um and that's i think about it as far as prelims go let's go ahead and take a look see what there is to do in the galaxy here um, we've got a bunch of missions. I just as soon take all of them here. Um, we've probably had a star, a star and a half, or skull, skull and a half, however you want to talk it, worth of weight. But we'll start here with the little stuff. Here's a battle in the lowlands for, um, let's, let's actually start with the pirates. Easy, uh, ambush con, yeah, that's fine. Ambush convey for the, for the pirates. Let's go. Uh, is there a way to easily get three? Yeah, we'll jump up here. Um, I don't know if there's gonna be any mechs we want from this, but just about anything's good at the moment. Um, and we could get some good weapon systems off of some of these mechs. So we're gonna we're gonna take the two mechs, the two fire starters. Uh, we're gonna take the blackjack. We're gonna take the trebuchet. Um, may as well put karma in our inheritance. Figure Ransor came in the medium. Um, Shivers I think came in prodigy. You know, that's kind of a meaner type of mech. And then we'll put um, Deadlock here in the Flint and Steel. So there we go. We'll assume those are the mechs they came with. Um, and maybe last year came with a Locust. Actually, I forgot we had five in this one. Um, so, you know, speed kills. You know, he just started out. We got him a small one. Maybe he stole a small one. <laughs> Blackmail? I don't know. Maybe it was a military one that we helped make sure fell off the back of the truck on our way out. That's our story. That's it. Military locust on its way. Not set up for anybody. All blanked out. Just kind of disappeared. Uh, I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit on my end here. Actually, let's leave it up here and just turn down the speaker. A little bit loud for me, but I don't want it to be too quiet for you guys. All right, there we go. Getting word convoys passed already, leaving a trailer element. It's time to make our move. Here's we'll make contact. Once we start shooting convoy, we make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill the convoy. All right, we do have some speed here, so we're going to need it. All right, one of the things about the mod is that you actually do run initiative phase every turn regardless. Um... And that's good. I actually like that because I complain in the base one that I run across people that I should be able to shoot, but I can't because we're not in initiative phase. So we're going to kind of run up here. I've got something. Uh, all right. First contact. But then you have to remember to hit done at the end. All right. And they're making their move up. That is a fast mover right there. Mm, excuse me. Can I jump farther? No. Running is the best option at the moment. Space bar to speed him up. Okay, so there's some escorts in there too. I'm more worried right now about the convoy because that is our time crunch. Oh, whoops. And then again, they interrupted me and I forgot to hit done. Okay. Um, what else we got going on? A couple more mechs up here. Well, vehicles. We don't know. Something. Man, this one's going to be... We're going to have to move quick, because I think they just have to get to here. Alright, somebody's got a PPC. 
And a lot of... Ah, uh, there we go. Panther up top there. All right. Well, we're going to mostly ignore him at the moment, to be honest. We'll put shots at him if we don't have any other shots. Unknown mech. Okay. Um. Yeah, like here, we'll go ahead and put some missiles his direction. AC2s. But, uh... Eh. Not a great chance, but it's something. Get a good look at the paint schemes here as we run up. I like the colors. Missed with everything. Uh, we should get more accurate um, hit ratings, but I have seen negative percentages roll through where I had a negative two. So it's not really from 100 per, from 0 to 100. Um, artillery? I think somebody's got artillery. Which is something else in this game. <laughs> um, four... Uh, can we get that get us in 33 um sure we'll, we'll take the slightly higher chance I'm not sure that I want to run this direction too far but we'll leave it to the fast max to get up there and Um, yeah, so there's artillery in this. There's AMS in this. Heat works a little bit differently. Once you're running over your heat, a number of things could happen. Um, you could shut down. You could have ammo explosions, whatever. You don't have to hit the top to shut down. Um, the computer makes its own decision. Once you hit there, there's just random options. For what the AI is going to decide to do, what your your, your mech's computer is going to decide to do. Yes, Commander. We are... I don't know how we're doing this. I'll be honest with you. Go here. On the move. Full speed. And we'll see what we see. We've got to kill vehicles, and we don't have a lot of chance to do it. Um. Oh, and they got full armor, of course. 204, 476. Primitive Commando, Panther. There's our light mortar carrier that did all that damage to us. Ah, that was horrible. Primary no, we got it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> engine crit. Okay. Um, I I was really. I'm kind of surprised there. I don't. Th we didn't do nearly enough damage. We got a th maybe a through armor crit. Now look at this. This harasser's already already running. Um, he's got to get to there. I don't. I'm honestly. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I don't know that it's possible. Um, that guy's probably gonna get away. Oh, did I find a spot here? Well. Can I do it without giving my back to everybody? <sighs> Maybe? No, we didn't get him. We had orange. Oh, we did. We did. Vital component. I don't know what blew up, but I'll take it because I was sure we were good. That guy was gone. Uh, Saracen here. Um, and he's... Again, I don't know how we're doing this. Well, at least we move before them this time? I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's gonna be difficult. You know, maybe we can get up here to get some shots if we have to. Alright, side shot. Those are horrible. That's horrible too, but we'll take it. Because we don't have a lot of options. We hit with what? One medium laser? I say. And there's our light mortar carry. That thing is... <laughs> so you get all the little stuff, right? And then you take area damage. All right, so that doesn't really change anything. So I can go here. Uh, we'll do a split shot. I think we can do that with this multi-target. Let's go multi-target on the Saracen and this guy. And yeah, and there's not a lot of options here. I don't know. We did maybe 16 damage. And then we missed with everything on the lasers. Negative 
damage. All right, so first priority is the Saracen, second is the Mortar, because he's slow, and then we'll worry about the mechs. Assuming we're still alive with that PPC. Don't, don't, don't. We have Commando, what does he have on him? Oh, I can't look because I have these turned off while they're moving. Maybe we turn that back on. I like the cinematic look, but I also like to know what the heck is happening. Uh, large laser, okay. Our turn? What do they have to... Is there something bigger back there? Yep. No idea what just happened there. No idea. Um... Let's see if we can go stomp this, uh, Saracen. Please be successful! Structure exposed. We should have the rest of our support weapons here, though. Saw some orange numbers. Yeah, there we go. Wait, was there... Did I see something else while we were up there, or was it just a broken one? What's that? Standing by. Did something get away from us that we didn't know about? There's two more vehicles down there. Are they coming up from the other way? Are they reinforcements? Oh, they're reinforcements. Ah. Well, we'll go ahead and put a shot at this guy because I can. That's a little bit scary, guys. Um, and we still have the mortar carrier to get, but I think we should be okay. He's not going to get, he's not going to run away too far. Now at least we know what's going on. German commando backs up. He's got a large laser. Now I have noticed that guys are much more likely to run away. I mean, they're going to leave and then come back. They're much more hit and run tactics with light mechs in this. They're not going to come up and stay up, which I like. Um, um, do we try to squash the light mortar? I think we do. If we can get rid of the last of the uh, S, uh, the actual convoy, makes our life a lot easier. There we go. Mortar explosion. Yeah, I th I think we're okay. Um, the Panther's obviously dangerous. Um, they've got a lot of mechs on the field now. We're gonna have to get um, deadlock out of the way and, and focus back on these guys. I think that's the goal now. Um, so I can hop up here. What is that going to do for my hits? Pretty poor with the LRMs. Um, how about that? Better with the LRM. Not great with the medium laser. Or we just come up and punch him. 40%, uh, it doesn't give me a, a percent. Oh, that's because I'm on jump. Um, so that would give, you know. I think we go with this. The medium lasers, I think, are at the moment um, are more likely to be our primary damage than the 15 missiles. I don't know. Oh, wait, there's the locust coming up. Goblin there. I don't know what else is back there, but... Probably going to ignore him for the moment, run back here and finish off these two, and then try to collapse back. Maybe we hop uh, Flint and Steel back and take a large laser shot at him. SRMs.
and whatever else it is they have over there. Uh, I saw it for half a second. Not long enough to know what it was. Somebody with a couple LRMs. All right. We can do that. You know what? I can punch a locust right here. I'm going to. Change my mind, guys. Oh, and we missed! We missed! That's horrible! Those support weapons hit, but we missed. I can't believe it. Uh, by the way, evasion does not go away in this mod, so you hang on to it. I mean, short of, you know, sensor locking and stuff like that, but... Um, that would let us know what else is over there. Wield APC. What if I hop... Trying to figure out where I can go that I can get my flamers and small lasers in on this. I guess just here. Gotta go all the way. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if we can finish off this locust and then squash some vehicles. Missed with the large laser. Didn't see any uh, orange numbers, but we put a little bit of heat into them between the two vi two mechs. Problem is, light mechs don't really need, aren't really, well, I take that back. Light mechs are less likely to be running heat issues here early on. So I think really machine guns and small lasers are more effective than lasers now, than, or than flamers now. And then when we get to the big mechs that really are going to have trouble with heat and big systems. It's, it's more important. But there are still some mechs here that are heavily overloaded with weapons. You're just going to see guys with 8 billion weapons between aerofibrous, endosteel, different engine sizes, dual uh, heat sinks, right? There's a lot of ways to pack a lot of guns in these mechs. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Build APC. Not much on that. All right, do we get to go again? Um, I'm trying to decide if I just want to punch somebody. So 92% chance... I think we punch him 96% and we've got the small lasers on the commando. Let's see if we can finish him off. We haven't had a lot of luck shooting stuff yet. We're in too close for our AC2s. He's unsteady. Maybe we finish him off with the trebuchet now. Get rid of one of those. One of those initiative blips. 